So, hi everybody, back with another exciting video today. So, I had a brand new cloth put on my coaching table and I thought I'd film the entire process from start to finish so that people could see exactly what happens when a new cloth is put on a table. So, let's start the video, so let's have a look. So, the reason I had a new cloth put on my table is you can see you get these lines on the table where you're doing exercises, maybe I'm getting players to learn to play screw shots and things. You can see around the black spot here you can see lines going towards the pocket and the little marks either side of the spot there where the ball is hitting the black at the same point each time again another point here where players have been practicing shots and the cloth has gone a little bit bare there and then some medium distance shots you can see going up to that green spot um, there's a bit of wear there so let's start the video let's have a look so the first thing to do is to get the cushions off the table so the side rails once the cushions are off you can then remove the bed cloth and remove the cloth from the cushions. So there's some bolts that hold the cushions on at each side of the table here. So you can see the table fitter just going around loosening off all of those bolts there and then fetching off the cushions. So you can see the cushions are completely off now and this is what the table looks like with no cushion rails on and you can see there again you can see that little bit of damage to the cloth there and then that was when it was recovered last so it was recovered a year ago and now obviously it's been recovered again today so the next stage is to actually remove the cloth from the slate so, so the table fitter there is going to remove the little tacks that hold the cloth on and you can see there going around there removing all of these tacks so that the cloth becomes loose. The cloth is held on by these little metal tacks that are hammered into some wood underneath the slate. So you can see they've removed the cloth and then for lots of people that never would have seen it, here's what the table looks like. So you've got five pieces of slate on a snooker table and then you can see the filler that's in between each one of those pieces of slate. So that's what a snooker table looks like with no cloth on there at all. So you can see that bare slate, there's those five pieces of slate there. Very, very heavy these pieces of slate. This table uses the old Welsh slate, so a very good quality slate bed table. And you can see there, even without the cloth on the slate there, you can see the lines going to the, the black spot there and some little chalk marks that are left on the table. And that's purely just from potting blacks off the spot and playing a, a similar kind of shot over and over again. So now the table fit is set up at the side here and he's going to remove the uh, cloth off the cushions and then fit new cloth. Now the cloth that goes on the bed of the table is different to the cloth that goes on these side cushions. On the side cushions you use slightly thicker cloth because it gives a more reliable bounce and lasts a little bit longer. And then on the bed I've had Strachan super fine cloth, very very lightweight cloth. Um, giving excellent fast conditions. So now we're having a detailed look now, we've zoomed in a bit on the table fitter doing one of these cushions. And you can see here that first of all you have to use this little tool to remove the, the staples from the, the cloth there holding it in, holding it against the wood. So those have got to be removed. So he's just gone along there and removed all of those staples and you can see that was a little tool he used there to get all of those staples out holding that cushion cloth on. Now he's going to go along here and just remove the, the cloth and now just removing any of those staples that didn't come out. So just going and making sure that those have pulled out the wood there. So a very skilled job doing table fitting, you've got to get the cloth onto the right tension and know how to put these cushion cloth on and a good method for doing it. So it's always good to get an expert in. And actually I've got Steve Perry here, um, a table fitter that's based in Birmingham. Um, so not far away from me. And he did an excellent job of doing this table. 
So Steve's links are in the description as well. So if anybody wants to get in touch with Steve, if they need any work doing, I can highly recommend him. Excellent table fitter. Did a fantastic job on my table. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And you'll see the after pictures at the end of this video as well. So just removing this piece of wood here, a little bit tight there. So removing this, this holds in the, this is hammered in and then it holds the, the cloth against that cushion there against the rubber. So now he's going to mark out, this is little cuts of cloth here. So this, like I say, this is thicker cloth than you would use on the, on the bed of the table. And he's marking out now these, the correct width, width so that he can cut it with his knife there like that. And then make a nice neat rip. The cloth just rips in a nice straight line. And then you get the perfect length and the perfect dimensions there for re-clothing one of the, the cushion rails. And he's just nailed in one little nail there at the end just to hold that in place. And then he's pulling it tight and nailing in another one at the other end of the cushion. And now he can put this piece of wood back in. So he's putting that piece of wood back in hammer that down all the way to make sure it's holding the cloth in place and then after he's done that the two tacks can come out the end and now this is where you've got to get all the right tension so he's pulling that nice and tight and then cutting off any excess there to make sure it's a nice neat finish And now you can see going along there with the he's using an a air compressor to get these staples in at high speed and you can see just putting the tension onto the cloth at every single point so he's pulling down on the cloth to make sure it's nice and tight that cloth against the rubber and it holds in place so that you get a nice consistent bounce off the cushion so as i say not an easy job to do these things properly and get the cloth on at the right tension and and get a very good finish. So now you can see just neatening up the edges there of the, the cushion, just chopping off any excess cloth there. So that's excellent now, lovely finish on that. Going across the top of the cushion here, just with a very hard piece of wood, just making sure that that piece of wood that you hammered in earlier that's holding the cloth in between that rubber there is nice and tight. And then the last thing to do just on this cushion, because this is the one that holds the rest, is to just screw the rest hooks back into the cushion there. And then that's this cushion rail completely done with brand new cloth ready to go. So now the next part, we can see here that table fitter now checking each individual piece of slate using a very, very accurate spirit level. So you can see this is what he uses here. These are very expensive, very, very accurate. And he goes all around the table here at all different points to make sure that every single slate is level and absolutely perfect so that you don't get any roll offs on the table at all. And if there is a tiny little error at any point, Steve, the table fitter went and just made sure that he raised or lowered the slates very, very slightly to make sure that everything was good. Now the exciting part here, getting the actual bed cloth onto the slate. So this is always the most satisfying part when you're having a table done. So putting that lovely new cloth onto the slates, making sure it's on. And there we go. Steve just making sure everything's okay there, making sure it looks good. So 
you can see now Steve's going around getting everything to the right tension. Lots of skill here. You've got to pull the cloth really, really tight. Make sure you pull in all different directions to spread the cloth out, get the right tension, and then nail the little tacks in that go underneath the slate into the wood. And you go all around the table and nail those all in so that you've got it really, really tight with an excellent finish there. And then he goes across with the iron, a hot table iron, to make sure everything's nice and smooth. And then I just fetch my fan down here because this is a very satisfying part. And you can see here that the table, just zoom in on it, brand new cloth, no imperfections, lovely lightweight strack and super fine cloth. So for anyone that's coming for coaching, this is a fantastically fast, lovely reactive table, really good to play on. And again, just from the other direction. And now it's time to mark out the D and the bulk line. So this is always a bit where it's a little bit nerve wracking in terms of getting the D and the bulk line marked up correctly. So what Steve's using here is a little, it's a, basically a, a tip X pen, so like a white correction pen. And that just draws on the table in nice white, white ink there and marks on this bulk line. And the same for the D. I always think that the white looks a lot better, it looks very professional, gives a fantastic smart looking finish to a cloth. So I always like to get the table marked out with white, white marker there. And now Steve's going to measure across right to the centre of the table where the brown spot will be. Makes a little mark there. And as I say, this is now where you get one chance at getting this absolutely right. So he's got a little tool here for marking out the D line. And now you've got to get this, so don't want to slip at this point. If you slip at this point, you'd probably be in all kinds of trouble and need a new cloth. But Steve there, even under pressure with me filming him there, fantastic job there. Got that D marked out and that looks really, really smart now. Lovely finish to a brand new cloth. So now the final stage is to get the cushion rails put back on the table and Steve's actually fitting all new leathers as well as he puts these cushions back on. So that's why it takes Steve a little bit longer than it would take if you were just literally putting the cushions back on as normal because Steve's having to put all new leathers on every single pocket here just gives a takes a bit more time but it also gives a lovely finish to the table. You've got lovely smart cream leathers on every single pocket then. And now for the most satisfying part here, the table's completely finished and you can see absolutely brand new cloth there, brand new cloth on the cushions and new pocket leathers on every single pocket. So I'm really pleased with how this table has turned out. Fantastic finish, looks incredibly smart and it's incredibly nice to play on, really fast and responsive but also you don't lose control because the cloth has got very good grip so it grips the white well nice and responsive so for anyone that's booking any coaching sessions this is the table you'll be playing on brand new absolutely fantastic really fun to play on if you did enjoy it please remember to give the video a like also subscribe that really helps me to just keep this content coming as always everybody thanks a lot i'll catch you in the next one